All right, so uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, this cassette player has a wobble. And that wobble is a, um, a belt. The, the belts are nice, good, and old. And what they're doing is they're in there slipping. So when a belt gets old, it is uh, going to uh, take, so it's like sat like this for a really long time, like so. And what will happen is uh, it'll take this shape. And so when it's trying to spin, it will hit that lobe every now and again. It'll cause it to go a little bit quicker or slower or slip. And uh, so this cassette player is a Sony uh, TCWE405. It's run of the mill cassette player. Uh, the issue with the cassette players that are like this is that they're single motor. So if you have cassette player and the cassettes are on either side, uh, left and right, then uh, usually you are running with dual motors. But because of the way that this one is set up, they're trying to be smart. And uh, so the best way to show you is just to actually open it up. Uh, let's look inside this thing here. So I'm trying to get through all of these cassette players tonight. And I'm running on I don't know, steam. <laughs> I'm kind of done with it at this point. So any of these that like need belts or any of that, I'm just I'm just going ahead and selling them with, hey, you need to add some belts to this mix. Not really a big fan of putting a bunch of belts in tonight. I will for the really, really high-end ones, but these sell for like 20 to $60. I'm not really like high end um, there's not a lot of demand out there for them so if it sells it sells if it doesn't it doesn't I'll be happy with it either way just give it to a kid who wants to play with it so if you look in here I'm gonna take the camera off of the and you'll see that we're running from a center motor there uh, this is your motor and everything is moving even though I'm only playing on I think this side the whole thing is moving all the time. And you'll see in here like these little plates, these metal plates. Let's stop it, I'll put my fingers in there. So these metal plates right here, um, on a high-end player, these plates are gonna be big. They're gonna be bulky and there's gonna be flat belts in here. Uh, this just does not have a lot of weight behind it because these, these uh, are what, um, oh, I forget what, the hell they're called um <laughs> anyways they they keep the momentum going um flywheel they're flywheel <laughs> uh so they keep the momentum going and uh with such a light flywheel here um you know even though there's like four of them in here spread throughout uh just not a lot of mass uh so that's what this is this one is going to get listed on eBay as a fixer. It's, it's actually, a, the belts in this one are silly easy to get to. This will be an easy fix for somebody, uh, not me. So go out and take a look. Maybe this one's still out there and you can fix it. Uh, thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.